Hey guys, Doug Machini Piper again. Um, told you that I'd do an update gall and uh, update on the gall and that I would give you my, what I thought was my perfect pipe smoking room. And uh, before I do that, uh, let's get some housekeeping out of the way. I do have my Dr. Grabo freehand um, in it. I am smoking some Lane Limited RLP6. And uh, just came out today, it's fine. the humidity's finally starting to die down a little bit. Man, it's been, it's been really muggy. So, um, I did want to give you an update on the gall. And here's who we have on the list right now. We have Redemptive Smoke. Uh, we have Mike Buckland and Bearded Piper. Those are the Bearded Piper. Those are the commenters. So you'll get one entry each. And then George416 gets three because he did a, uh, an actual uh, VR. So um, that's what we have for entry so far. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I would do a um, do my what my version would be. Um, I wanted to give guys a chance to do theirs first without trying to influence anybody. But uh, I've always, the little kid in me, has always wanted to do a, uh, a castle room in my house if I ever had you know, the means to be able to pull something like that off. So you know, I got to thinking about it and it's really similar, uh, the castle room in my perfect pipe smoking room. So, the room would start off, it would be hidden. Uh, this is not a room that you could just walk into a house and be like, oh, there's Doug's pipe smoking room. It would be, uh, it looks like a regular door or a bookcase maybe. And uh, as you open the door, then on the back side of the door, you would have the heavy uh, timber with the, wrought iron, you know, hinges and, and uh, uh, hand-forged nails, um, uh, you know, solid oak. Uh, and then as you come into the room, it's a stone room, uh, much like a castle room would be. Um, and it's a cool room, so whether it be in the basement or, uh, or just, you know, have hidden air conditioning sent to it, I don't know, but... Uh, it would be a room that would normally be cool. Um, solid stone all the way around, flat stone. Um, stone fireplace on one end. A little longer than it is near, or than it is uh, wide, I should say. And size of the room, I really didn't think of till now. If I had to, had to put a number on it. I'd say maybe... 16 by 16 by 14 or 16 by 18 just just you know a little bit longer than it is wide on the narrow end the wall on the narrow end I'd have a fireplace stone fireplace with a with a uh, wooden mantle uh, and uh, there would be two high back chairs in front of the fireplace now I can't make up my mind if I'd have a gas fireplace you just Flip a switch. I've had those before. Man, those are nice. Not having to get the get the fire going. My guess is that would be the case, but there is something to be said about hearing wood crackling in a fire. So uh, I don't know that I'd want to spend you know a half an hour, an hour trying to get a fire going good before I'm ready to smoke a pipe. So two high back chairs. On the floor, you'd have deer hide rugs. Uh, I can make those myself, so um, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, the floor would be stone as well. Um, and then behind the chairs would be a table that sat at least four. And when I say table, I mean a thick oak table, uh, something that, you know, a fat man get up and dance on and wouldn't even think about moving. Um, and then four, four chairs around that table so that if I had, you know, this would be, this would be a room, almost like an entertaining room. 
so, you know, I would, yes, I could be in there by myself if I wanted to, but at the same time, I could have a few people over. Um, in the back of the room behind the table, you'd have a short bar, and pretty much the only thing in there would be water and mead. Um, and that's where I could actually make my mead, store it, uh, and uh, that would be the two options to drink there. Maybe, maybe some coffee. Um, and then on the walls, you'd have tapestries. Uh, tapestries of, you know, some, some art. I'd like it to be meaningful, though, you know, so uh, possibly maybe one with the Lord's Prayer, maybe one with, uh, oh, Family Crest or something. Um, you know, just, just a few around the walls. Uh, not anything elaborate, not you know, like royalty, but at the same time, you know, just something to, to decorate the wall with. And then over the fireplace would be uh, a prominent cross, uh, just to remind me uh, that, you know, I'm allowed to enjoy this for a reason. Um, then in the corner, Next to the fireplace, I would have a full set of, of armor, not a suit of armor, uh, but uh, if you are familiar with the uh, Ephesians, um, the armor of God, so there would be a helmet to represent uh, the helmet of salvation. There would be a breastplate to represent the breastplate of righteousness, a belt for the belt of truth, a sword for the sword of the word, a set of sandals, um, and then uh, a shield for faith. So um, those would be set in the room like they were just put there, in the corner of the room, uh, to remind me that uh, I, need to, I need to wear those. I need to be ready to, to don that and, and to use that. And, um, and then, let's see, there would be a desk somewhere in the room. Uh, somewhere in the room I'd want a desk where I could do my writing uh, or reading or whatever. Um, this would be a well-ventilated room, whether I'd have to hide the vent or whatever, but there'd be, there'd be a way to, to ventilate it. Um, and then there would be sconces around the room, so uh, my guess is piped gas, so that you could flip a switch and basically we'd have flame sconces around the room, uh, along with candles at the ready, you know, if I wanted to light candles and just use that light, in addition to some type of uh, old lantern that would be... Uh, electric light that I could I could turn up if I wanted to get rid of the mood lighting and just do a study there in that room you know or it's like okay I get it this is a castle room but at the same time I need some light so I can get down down and dirty that might be an option as well so um, look at my list here real quick I think I hit everything um, armor of God candles at the ready oh and then um, yeah, I would. I would like to have the, my family coat of arms on one of those tapestries. I think that would be, that would be uh, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I consider to be my perfect perfect pipe room. If uh, if money was no option, um, that would be a place that would be hard to peel myself out of. I can tell you that. But something that I would really enjoy having people over uh, to share the ambiance of that room and to have you know the deep discussions and contemplations and. And, uh, you know, who knows what else. So, uh, guys, we are about halfway uh, in the thank you uh, giveaway. And uh, um, I want to say, I think it was 24th, if I remember right. Go back to the video. Don't listen to me right now. We'll go back to the, the other video if you don't know the date. Um, open to see, or looking forward, I should say, to, to seeing the rest of the, uh, the entries. I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. So, um, I hope everybody's doing well. I am uh, just to let you know about what's going on with me. Showing the house tomorrow. Uh, supposed to be showing it two people. One person backed out, so another guy's come from the east side of the state to look at it. So, um, hoping that goes well because we're moving into the area. I mean, it, it, nationwide, the the uh, the housing market is just dumb. Um, and around here, it's pretty much impossible to buy a house without cash. Uh, so I'm seven months into trying to find a house in my new area of work. And uh, there's questions starting to be asked, but they under, they also understand. So uh, any prayers on that, I'd, I'd appreciate as well. But uh, uh, that's kind of what's going on with me. So guys, I hope you all are doing well. And until next time, you take care.